When you love success and you start going for it, guess what happens? You're going to fail. You're going to fail 10 times, 100 times, maybe even 1,000 times. But that's okay. Failure isn't permanent. Falling isn't permanent. You get right back up and keep going. And this time, you're going to be stronger, wiser, and you'll be more driven than ever. And for every 10 failures, you'll land one success. You have to love success so much that you're willing to fail 10 times before you can succeed once. That's how a winner does it. What's going on guys, Pedro with another video and today we're going to be going over three most profitable niches that have worked for me and that could work for you. So let's get started. Alright guys, so niche number one, travel. Huge guys. There's so many people that are passionate about traveling. There's people that are always on the go. And there's whenever there's an audience for that for a certain product or there's an audience or a following or a passion for uh, you know something it could be traveling it could be you know pets it could be music there's always people that are gonna be passionate about those different things so uh, definitely travel is something that's huge guys there's people that are myself I love traveling and I think that you know when I went to UK last year. I, I found myself in a situation where I didn't have I didn't have a case for my iPad, which sounds funny. You can get it literally anywhere, but I didn't have a proper case for my iPad. I didn't have a travel like, you know, like a battery pack to charge my phone. So there's those are things that are really convenient. And when there, whenever there's like um, a need for something, you always want to provide and fill, fulfill that need for that for your clients or for customers. OK, so travel guys is, is a good niche to get into. Now, I'm not gonna tell you or guarantee you that that's gonna be a 100% profitable niche because remember guys, um, everyone gets different results. So what might work for me might not work for you. But either way, that's why I'm here and I'm here to share you guys uh, my, my opinion as to what I think could work for you guys. Um, so yeah guys, I think travel is a good niche to get into, uh, to build a store around it. There's so many things guys, you could build like, you could sell like neck pillows, you could sell, chargers, you know, battery packs, uh, cases for their iPhones, for, for, you know, their iPads, tags for their luggages, whatever it might be, passport holders, uh, so many things guys. Um, but yeah, so that's niche number one that I think you could potentially be profitable. Niche number two, uh, beauty guys, beauty and fashion. That's huge. Check out fashion Nova. That's a drop shipping store, in fact, and it is based off of Shopify. And yeah, guys, I mean, look around. Uh, there's a lot of stores that are selling a lot of beauty products. And that includes, you know, from like makeup, it could be, uh, you know, dental. There, there, there's just so much like it's just very, it's very broad. But guys, that's huge. There's a huge market for it. There's people that, you know, want to buy into these products. And you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to hop on, hop on and get a piece of the pie. Right? So, um, yeah, guys, beauty and fashion is huge. I think that niche is something that is obviously there's competition, but it's all about standing out and, you know, l looking around, seeing what other companies are doing and replicating it and doing it better. That's, that's honestly it guys. That's, that's what you'll hear around from everyone and they're just going to tell you, oh yeah, just look around, you know, Facebook, look around Instagram and just grab whatever they did and then just replicate it. And honestly, that's there. You can't get more simpler than that. That's literally what you have to do. You just literally have to do your research guys. There's, um, actually another thing that I want to tell you guys, actually an advice is on Facebook, uh, business manager, there's an analytics, uh, there's, um, you can search actually, uh, results like people so like you can I'm gonna make a video about this actually I should make a video about this but um, essentially what it is is uh, the business manager has a tab okay at the top where it says I forget what it's called but it's called like analytic something and what it does is it it's like a search engine so you literally put you type in 
on your business, on the business, like the Facebook business manager, you type in interest guys. You type in, uh, like, let's say an example, uh, makeup. So then you put, you type in makeup and then it shows you a list guys of countries that are mostly interested in makeup. It shows you, you know, like everything. It shows you like age or demographic, every, everything, all the information from people that are interested in makeup, uh, what age groups are mostly interested, what pages they usually like. So this really helps with targeting guys when it comes to Facebook and you start um, building new campaigns and ad sets and you, and you try to find proper interests. This is a good tool to use. And this is where you're able to find, uh, you know, pages and, you know, all these types of uh, helpful, you know, information for you to target. So then you find out, oh, okay, so if, you know, I'm targeting, uh, I'm going to do a store or a niche that is in makeup, then I know I'm going to target these people that are from this age to this age, right? And they're living in UK or they're living in Canada or they're living in Australia. So the demand is higher in Canada or Australia or UK, wherever it might be. But that way you're, you at least know who to target. You at least know who's mostly interested. You know what I mean? So these are, I'm going to be making another video about this actually. And, um, that way you guys can know how to do proper research and see, you know, uh, how to find your you know, your target audience for these type of niches like beauty and fashion. And uh, yeah, guys, so beauty and fashion is a big one, as you can see. And I don't know if you guys already know, but Fashion Nova is a Shopify, uh, you know, it's a Shopify based business. And these guys are killing it like they're making a killing guys. And there's so much more other ones out there. Uh, but yeah, guys, beauty guys. So the final one, point number three, uh, this niche is actually not a niche. It's actually a general uh, store. So this one is trendy products. So um, what I recommend for you guys is to do your research and and look for stores that are more general and trendy. Guys, this is huge because trends is not like you won't be able to make a huge amount of profit in a sense long term. Like you won't have something stable and because it'll always be moving and changing. But at least if you build a store that's general, you are able to pick out what niche is working for you. Okay, if that makes any sense. At least you cover all the different types of niches and you find out, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm making better sales with my, you know, uh, beauty, you know, niche. Or I'm making more sales with my fitness niche. Or I'm making more sales with my pet niche. Whatever it might be, guys, uh, at least with a general store, you're able to have a good grasp of what's selling. And yes, you're going to have to do a lot more testing. Yes, it's going to be a lot more work because you're going to have to, you know, like fill in your whole store with different types of products. You're going to have to, you know, do different, you know, product descriptions. It's going to be a lot more work. But in the end, you're at least going to know what niche is doing well for you and what niche is actually selling. Okay. Uh, Honestly, there's so much and you know, there's different options that you guys can choose. I have both. I have a general store and I have a niche store. So that's why guys, as my third point, I say a general, uh, kind of, it's not really a niche. It's just kind of like a general store that you, I, I suggest you guys should try out. Um, that way you guys can get an idea as to, uh, you know, what, what could be selling, what's working for you. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, guys, general is cool. And when I mean general too, I'm, I'm going more specifically with trendy products. Okay, guys, because trendy products is huge. There's like so many products that have been trending and, you know, like there's so much opportunity that you can just hop on and, you know, make money off of it. So there's so many trends out there, guys. There's a lot of tools out there. I'm going to be making lots more videos, guys, I'm working like crazy with my stores and uh, you know, I haven't had that much time to do it every single day, but I will be posting weekly guys and consistently. So, all right guys, that's all for today. If you did found this video informative, hit that like button and, uh, I'd comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, I will be posting lots more valuable content. So stay posted guys. And if you haven't already subscribed below, subscribe because come on, it's free.